you do all day? Not that much. Uh -huh. I thought that new promotion was supposed to be a lot more work. Yeah, when the season starts. Right now, I sit around pretending that I'm busy. How do you pull that off? I always look annoyed. <laughs> yeah, when you look annoyed all the time, people think that you're busy. <laughs> think about it. In fact, Mr. Wilhelm gave me one of those little stress dolls. <laughs> All right. Back to work. <laughs> sure. We just got the final budget numbers. We went over budget on some of the items, but I don't think there's going to be a problem. I'll let you get back to work, George. I think you may be taking work a little too seriously. Well, I've got a lot to do. <laughs> George, I'll tell you what I'd like you to do. I, I'd like you to drop everything. I have this fun little assignment I think you'll enjoy. There are some uh, reps in from the Houston Astros for talks on that interleague play, and I want you to show them a good time. <laughs> Till this bastard over here says, let's call the sons of bitches, go visit them in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're certainly so glad that you could make it. <laughs> I like your organization, George. <laughs> We've been talking to a real friendly son of a bitch in the front office. <laughs> Wilhelm, I think his name is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Wilhelm, yeah. He told us that George Costanz is going to be taking us bastards out on the town. <laughs> I said, that son of a bitch doesn't know what he's got in store for. <laughs> Finish your drink. Oh, yeah, oh, almost, almost. Huh. Well, let's get that bastard bring us another round, huh? <laughs> you a big drinker, George? Well, maybe not as much as this bastard. <laughs> I'm on my own. <laughs> no, I will stay with you, Len. It would be rude. Hey, you bastards. <laughs> hey, so how's the meeting? You know, I really like those sons of bitches. Sons of bitches? Yeah, that's how they talk. You know, everyone's either a bastard or a son of a bitch. Yeah, it's like, uh, boy, that son of a bitch Boggs can really hit, huh? <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, that's how they talk in the Major League. Oh. Hey. How many sweaters you got? Oh, four. Yeah, could I have a cup of tea? Boiling. What's going on? I fell asleep in the hot tub and the heat pump broke. Water went down to 58 degrees. I can't get my core temperature back up. Your core temperature? Here, feel my hand. This son of a bitch is ice cold. Hello? Uh, is that you, George? <laughs> yeah, it's me. Is this Clayton? Well, listen, you son of a bitch. You know where we are? 30,000 feet above your head, you bastard. <laughs> what are they doing letting you bastards on an airplane? Don't they know that's against FAA regulations? Hey, hey, hush up now. I can't hear him. Shh, shh. Listen, I want you guys to send along those agreements the minute you land. Our boys can't wait to kick your butts. When's that bastard coming to Houston? Hey, Zeke wants to know when you Yankee bastards are coming to Houston. <laughs> you tell that son of a bitch no Yankee is ever coming to Houston. Not as long as you bastards are running things. Hey, now, now speak up, George. I can't hear you. You tell that son of a bitch no Yankee is ever coming to Houston. Not as long as you bastards are running things. George, get a hold of yourself. Mr. Wilhelm, what's the matter with you? <laughs> See me, Mr. Steinbrenner? Yes, George, come in, come in. George, word has it you've been cracking under the pressure. Can't cope, can't stand the heat. Spit the bit. Uh, Mr. Steinbrenner, I can explain. Oh, we all get a little cuckoo sometimes, George. I used to be like you, raiding personnel till they cried, calling managers on the field during a game, threatening to move the team to New Jersey just to upset people. And then I found a way to relax. I've got two words to say to you, George. Hot tub. <laughs> 